everyone. Welcome to day two of the Sunflower Seams Laurel Sew Along. Today, we are going to complete steps one through 12 of our tutorial. Whether you're making the top or the dress, these next few steps are for you. First, you're going to take your front main of your dress or your top, whichever one that you are making. You're gonna lay them out flat like so. Next, you are going to take your back mains for your top, it looks like this, and you're gonna lay them on top of each other with the right sides of the fabric touching. And you're gonna want to line up your shoulder seams like so. And then you're either gonna take pins or clips, whichever you prefer, and pin them together. If doing the dress version, you will take your dress back bodice main, which is in two pieces, and lay the first one on top with the right sides of the fabric touching, lining up your shoulder seams and your arms. Repeat for the other back bodice main. Line up those shoulder seams and lining up the on size. Excellent. Now you are going to sew along the shoulder seams. Once you have sewn your shoulder seams, you will lay your bodice or top flat with the right side of the fabric touching your table. Now you're going to open up the shoulder seam like so and press an iron flat. Once your shoulder seams are pressed open, go ahead and set your bodice mains and top main to the side. You are gonna repeat steps one through three for the linings and the partial lining. Once you have attached your top partial lining at the shoulder seams, it is time to finish off the bottom raw edge. At this point, if you have a serger, you are more than welcome to finish off the raw edge with the serger and skip to step six. If not, let's continue. You are going to lay your lining down right side of the fabric touching your table. You're going to take the bottom raw edge and fold it up one fourth of an inch then press. Once you press, you are gonna fold the same seam up another fourth of an inch and press again. Once you press, you are then going to top stitch your hem down one eighth of an inch away from the folded edge. I chose to finish my partial lining off by serging. You will then want to repeat these steps for the raw edge of the back of your lining. Once that is complete, you will want to grab your top main again. This time, you're gonna lay it on the table flat, but with the right side of the fabric facing up. Now, you will take your top partial lining and lay it on top of your main with the right side of the fabric touching each other. You will want to line them up at the shoulder seam and pin. Now place pins around the neckline. You also want to make sure you're lining up the V. After pinning your top neckline, you may skip to step nine. Thank you. 
If you are creating the dress bodice, you will want to take your dress bodice mane and lay it on the table with the wrong side of the fabric touching the table, right side facing up. Next, take your bodice lining and lay it on top of the bodice mane with the right sides of the fabric touching. You will want to line up the back edges of the bodice, the arm size, the shoulder seams, as well as the opposite shoulder seam and back of the bodice. Now pin. Once you are done pinning, it is now time to sew the back part of the bodice. In the back, you will have a long straight edge. That is the edge that you're wanting to sew. Once you have sewn the first back edge, you will want to repeat it for the second. Once your back edges are sewn, you may choose to add interfacing. Interfacing is optional. However, without it, there is a chance that your buttonholes or your snaps may rip. So this is totally up to you, although it is highly recommended. If you are adding it, you will want to fuse the interfacing to the back lining on the wrong side of the fabric using the interfacing's directions. Step nine is for both the dress and the top versions. For this step, we are going to be sewing the V in the front of our dress or our top. Since our bodice is already pinned, we are able to go ahead and take it to the sewing machine. We are going to start on one side of the V using a 1 fourth seam allowance. Sew down the V, stopping at the point and coming back up. Once you've sewn your V, you will want to cut perpendicular lines to the stitch line. This will help keep your V from puckering. You will also want to clip a V in the point of your V. Once your perpendicular lines are cut, you can now unpin your dress bodice or top. Once it is unpinned, you will turn your dress bodice and top right side out. You may need to work on that V slit in order to get it to look right. Once you turn your bodice right side out, if you notice any kind of puckering, down at your V slit, that means you didn't cut your V close enough to the stitch line. Just turn it back inside out and cut closer without cutting the stitch line. For the top, the only part that is sewn is the V slit. So turning it right side out may be a little challenging but just keep working on it until it lines up. Once you have your dress bodice or your top right side out, you will need to press. If you are creating the top or the sleeved dress, turn your garment right side out. Be sure to press the V slit of your top and your dress and the back seams of your dress. If you are creating the sleeved dress or the sleeved or sleeveless top, you are now done for day two. If you are creating the sleeveless dress, you will want to sew along your arm size. Your arm size are the armholes. So you'll start at the one side seam, 
sew the curved edge all the way around to the other side seam and repeat for the opposite side. Once you have finished your armholes, you will want to trim away half of the seam allowance and cut notches into the curves. Once you are finished trimming away your seam allowance, you will want to turn your sleeveless bodice right side out. Once your sleeveless dress bodice is right side out, give it a good press. For all versions, you will want to top stitch the V slit on your bodice. If you are creating the dress version, you will also want to top stitch along the back bodice seam. Once you are done top stitching, you have just completed day two of the Laurel Sew Along. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow for day three.